My name is Dr. Philip Blum, and I'm a mechanical engineer at the U.S. Wolf Institute of the Charité in Berlin. Together with my clinical colleagues, Professor Tobias Winkler and Dr. Sija Jo, we will tell you today about our recent paper, Loading of the Hip and Knee During Swimming, an in vivo load study. We want to thank the editorial team for the opportunity also in the name of all authors. How often have you been asked by your THA and TK patients, what kind of sports can I do after surgery? And in particular, is swimming really the best of all sportive activities for me and my new joint? Although I'm always happy to tell them that they're correct and swimming is the best option, we realized that up to date, we have had no real life data on in vivo hip and knee joint loads during the activity of swimming. Therefore, we used the worldwide unique opportunity of a cohort of patients with instrumented hip and knee implants at the Charité in Berlin and looked at their in vivo joint loads while they were performing breast or growl strokes at different speeds. We were really excited to find that joint contact forces and moments were found to be in a low loading range in both knee and hip patients during swimming when compared to typical activities of daily living. When compared with sportive activities such as cycling, golf and hiking, swimming showed a lower or similar maximum joint loads, supporting the safety of this sport. The frequent clinical suggestion to knee patients that coral strokes lead to lower burden in the knee than breast strokes could partly be confirmed, showing higher medial forces in the latter. However, we found loads to be in general rather low, only little differences, meaning also breast swimming can be recommended, above all if patients are used to it. Also for hip patients, both swimming styles can be generally recommended as a rehabilitative activity. Based on our data, physicians and surgeons can keep recommending swimming as a post-operative rehabilitation intervention for patients receiving hip and knee total joint replacement. We could show that swimming indeed is a safe and a low impact activity compared to other activities we also investigated. We invite all interested readers to visit our publicly available database www.orthodox.com of in vivo joint loads for different activities such as physiotherapy, rehabilitation, activities of daily living and sports. I want to thank all our readers and in particular our phenomenal patients who have supported knowledge gain in research with their great enthusiasm over more than 10 years. 